All right. This is the beginning of the fourth episode. So I decided to do a small amount of exploring. And when I mean small, I mean tiny. I did this. This chunk here. That's what I did. Oh, wait, that and also some of what was left over here because there is that and I have to get ready to do that. So, yeah, but uh, this is... Currently I'm at 11 million. I'm gonna pump all of that right back into my colonies real quick. I'm gonna set up a supercomputer and whatever else needs to be set up. Increase mining production because this is the haul of what I got from exploring. And these are gonna be good, so yeah. But this is the haul. I'm not going to keep a lot of this. Uh, I'm keeping most of these, though. Most of the large weapons I'm keeping. So, yeah. Well, uh, so, the plan is more exploring and more, more colonies. Also, our colonies are, like, my colonies are making, like, bank. So, yeah, that's, that's nice. I'm going to... All right, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna explore this chunk. And uh, that, that really should be all I'm doing, to be honest. That and also building my fleet. Aside from that, not much else. Because I haven't officially started recording for the next episode. This is two, like a day after I uploaded the third episode so yeah current current fleet setup though I built in each of these has a built-in augmented drive field and efficiency overhaul all of them so yeah and that's what we're running with this is honestly very strong for a fleet already I make it two more of these because yeah that's it's pretty fucking busted uh let's see is there anything else i need to bring up uh oh oh yeah yeah mm. what is that operative operative guys. oh it's an expedition <laughs> uh, looted path, why do you try? Alright, but we fought... Let's see, mega structures. Several, we fought these cryo sleepers. So, yeah, we fought these four cryo sleepers, three motherships, two... Um... Two of those weird planetary defense... Sys, uh, or system defense things. So, yeah. But that, that's what we did. I'll probably go clear these out, uh, too. Oh, and we leveled up twice. So I took... What did I take? I took automated. I took damage control. And that's it. And then I plan to take... Oh, and we got this uh, Ordnex expertise. And I also plan to take most likely uh, something either I'm gonna completely do this also I have the um mod that has like max I think 40 levels I'm not entirely sure I might have uh, so but it takes forever to get the 40 levels I made sure not to get the easy one so we're probably I'm probably gonna do these first and then these once I get everything. But yeah, that's that's that. That's the update. Um, yeah, any suggestions for... I have two ships I'm looking for. The one from the Rosen Ritter faction, or faction, and it's not really a faction, it's a dead faction. But, and then another one from the Great Houses, which is... The, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I'll, I'll, if I find it, I'll point it out and make it very obvious. 
but that's that. All right, so current fleet setup. Uh, I have all these ships, by the way, and I set up the hypershot finally. It took, let's see, five, ten Atlas freighters, and that was a pain in the ass. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, I set up several of these. I cannot get the blueprint for them because the reverse engineering yard just won't do it. Same for these two. This is the one I was originally using. Now, this, um, uh, Halbon, Halbamond, Class Citadel support carrier. Uh, I found that while doing a bounty in this area. This. Um, so I went through all of these um, black holes and stuff as well. Uh, let's see, map. Etc. Ignore the names. So. I went through all these um, black holes and some nebulas to find um, the second ship, which this ship, this ship gives you the blueprints to, mm, I believe, all of the Rosenritter design type ships, except for this one, the... Uh, Trom Tanzer, which is a one-time ship. You can only get one of them. And you have to find this one before you can find this one. Well, you can find this one, but it's harder, and this one will lead you right to it if you find it. You, the only issue is you have to have, um, just have it. You just have to carry it around with you, essentially, for a few months. It'll sit. You don't have to have it, like, you can have it mothballed. It'll give you all the blueprints, and after everything is done, it'll give you a new quest, and you go find this. This one I bought off the market. I made this one, and then, well, I bought these two off the market, and I bought this one, this very special one, off the market as well. And I've made a setup on it that is pretty much broken, that I'm going to have to redo. Uh... But yeah, so that's the progress update. Alright, so forgive me, um, my allergies are acting up like a motherfucker. Um, so last night I meant to record the fleet battle I had, but I fucking, I messed up the recording somehow and it didn't record properly and it was just a black screen. But I did a bounty and got this ship, which is, uh, it's a one of a kind ship. Um, and it, this is the only one of it in the whole game. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like this one, except this one's got from a bounty. It's a special fleet bounty. And so that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing bounties i recorded um i don't i forget sorry i'm doing this like a few hours after i woke up so my um memory's a bit fuzzy and i'm not like at full capacity but yeah that's that's basically that so i got this with this fleet this thing tears through everything pretty much it just eats a lot of supplies so next up we're gonna do we're gonna try and do the genesis project if i cut back that means we aren't capable of doing the genesis project <laughs> this will probably be the point where i'll cut so if i don't cut here it works oh shit going right into the sun with that and this will let me make planets, so this should be relatively easy. Oh 
Let's see. That should be good. This this may seem a bit jumpy at first. That's because this ship is genuinely jumpy. I Good ball. Yeah, this is why I brought carriers. Because this one ship would likely be able to handle it if it weren't for the carriers. This is, honestly, if y'all get the Talhand ship work spawn, try and find the Risen Ritter, or the, anything from the Risen Ritter back. Because once you do find that uh, carrier, it's a life changer once you get your by the ship. And mind you, the Risen Ritter weapon is actually pretty good too. Especially the PD. The PD is very interesting. Because they could probably, if I'm being honest, solo a radio. Like, not a radiant fleet, but a radiant itself, they could probably take it off. With a really good pilot, which is not me. <laughs> but still, in the hands of a pretty shitty pilot, it's still does pretty well. Oh yeah, you don't even have to control the guns, you just have to slightly aim. I would focus on controlling missiles with this ship. Pretty sure that's what this is. I've seen it before. God damn. Come on. Always be sure to check on your fleet. What the fuck? By God, behave yourself, I will give you a taste of my- Oh shit, there he goes. Yeah, whatever, I'll be able to recover it. It's not like it's too much of a loss.
One thing that's so annoying is the remnant shields. Because they don't have much else. Okay, what else are we... Oh yeah, and if you're afraid of losing any of your ships, um, literally there is a mod to prevent, or not a mod, there is a um, skill that prevents that, even in the base. So we're going to figure out what this is and how it works. Because I got no, or the Genesis project, because I got no clue and I want to see how it works. I have the infrastructure to support it too. And uh, from what I've seen, it should be a class 5 habitable planet, and it should be amazing. And I say should, because streamer luck is a bitch. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Alright, um... I took a bit of a break while we waited to, uh, get this. Device unleashed... Uh, so it's from DIY Planets. Some would say Huber is the just as class planetary creation device with a barely stable uh is barely a starship grossly expensive ponderously slow and completely unarmed and single use in an asteroid field. Uh not wrong fucking thing. Do we have an asteroid field? We do have an asteroid field. Alright. Oh, and I'm clearly gonna need some fucking... Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, do I need anything else? Deployed in asteroid field. Da, da, da. Bodies from crisis spawns to the entire asteroid field. Okay, how do I use it? I'm gonna spend some time figuring this shit out. Because I, I don't remember how to use it. I watched it happen and I don't remember and now I feel stupid. So, nothing new. What the f- <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> that is broken. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Leave, leave, hold on. Oh shit. Uh, uh, uh. I'm colonizing that. Holy fuck. Okay then. Oh wait a minute. Does that... Oh my god. I might create a perfect system if I can find some very big clusters of asteroid fields. Uh, I may do have to do some searching. So... I'm gonna look for another place to colonize now, because this place is basically 100% set up. So, yeah. I'm 
we're gonna we're gonna see how we do with that. Hopefully, I can make some Terran worlds. We'll we'll see. It seems like the smaller the asteroid field, the smaller the planet. I'm gonna look into it. But that'll be that. Uh, I don't know when we'll come back. We'll see. All right, we're back. Uh, not even a few minutes later. Um, I decided to find another colony, I think is what I said last time. And I picked, and I found one, honestly, very quick, because it had to be within this chunk here. Because they're, because Hypershunt and Cryosleeper. And honestly, and it's also close to my planet, or original colonies, which is what I was looking for. So I picked this one, because there's four asteroid fields. That means four times to use the Genesis project. There's a destroyed artillery station, so I get to figure out what that does and how that works. It's got volcanic worlds, two gas giants, two rocky unstable worlds, which are normally good for mining. And this one's very good for mining and produ fleet production. And also, I might get some tech ruin or tech mining. Who knows? To be honest, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that one isn't good for shit. I might leave that one uncolonized. To be honest. Actually, no. I don't. Need, I don't have it surveyed. Okay. So take a. Not what I wanted to do. Storage. Take another hundred just in case and another thousand since I might start two colonies at once uh oh wait yeah fleet fleet storage I'm taking out the peaker which yeah I'm gonna have to rename uh gangrene dream but that's current plan, so yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna uh, leave again and probably cut back to when I've created a, all four planets, because that's what I'm doing actually, so. Reminder to make more Genesis projects. Iridian Utopia. So I need four, that's what. I'm gonna have to wait a few months, that's gonna be annoying. But, yeah, so I'll be back. Alright, so... Bit of a... I don't know what's gonna happen, I decided to do something stupid. Um... So this was a gas giant, we're in the system I was talking about colonizing. I dropped an end brain oscillator on it and it's turning into a brown dwarf. Not entirely sure what that means, what's it, what it's gonna do, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, that's a mini update. And I'm waiting, I'm gonna do all four of these planets uh, at once, so we'll see what that's like. I'm gonna bring all the ships in here one by one, so I don't have to cart them in, because they cost quite a bit. But I'm gonna do them, like, I'm gonna make them all in the same time. So, yeah. Just slight mini update. Alright, I did a quick save beforehand, so we're gonna see if this works. We're doing four in a row. And we'll see what happens. Because there's some good chunks. Okay. Alright, another good one. Ooh, I'm going to need a lot of fuel production. <laughs> I just realized. We'll go here. Damn it. Oh, and uh, I've been developing the colonies, these two. I threw an AI to be in charge of that one. Speaking of which, actually, I should probably... 
It's not like they can get through to it anyway, but better safe than sorry. So, yeah. One more uh, mining planet, which isn't bad. Actually, hold on. Map system. Hot, but not extreme heat. Weird, even though it's close to one of the stars. Uh, it'll do. This will probably be similar to that one, I assume. Can you... Thank you. Hmm. This is kind of busted, I'm gonna be honest. So two more is probably going to give me a third mining, and I'm hoping that huge cluster gives me something better. I really hope. I'm not entirely sure the conditions required for making a planet. Like, I'm not entirely sure how many asteroids make or break getting a good planet. Another barren. Oh my, that's very good. Okay, and now we go to this one, which is huge, and I'm hoping does way better. Nope, another Baron. God damn it. Still, tons of mining is not all bad, I suppose. And I have enough volatiles to not really care. Or I'll have enough volatiles to not really care. Oh yeah, that's that's that. Kind of sucks, but I was hoping for a habitable world. But a couple more mining ones isn't all too terrible either. I need those actually. All right, well, that's, uh, that's that. And I'm gonna be terraforming the absolute shit out of every single one of these planets. Uh, specifically the ones that need it. I'm not gonna get rid of the heat, because they, depending on the planet. I, I'll get rid of, uh, like, minimal heat, but if I can get enough patrol HQ things, then that'll be pretty spicy. Oh, right, right, right. And also, orbital artillery. What's railgun, missile artillery, mortar artillery? Ah, yeah, we'll go with that because this system is going to be extremely military, military, uh, militaristic. So, yeah, missile artillery is going to slow everything down for us. We're gonna remove that. I forget m tech mining is an industry. It's so dumb. But yeah, I can honestly just ab go insane with a bunch of colonies right off the start. So I think I might do that. So yeah, uh, or for this system at least. Not right off the start, because we're way past the start. <sighs> you know, I don't think there's really a need to even colonize that gas giant. I don't need its volatiles. I have plenty. It's kind of um, hilarious. Uh, hmm. All right. Go back here. I dash one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go into. I'm just gonna. I am. I guess I'm just gonna throw a cryo. Well, no, because that'll cause too many issues. I'm just gonna start up all the colonies and go into massive debt. 
or have them all go negative and just grow. Because the faster everything grows, the more, the quicker I can make my money back. And honestly, I don't really need to make my money back. I make million per thing. But uh, that's that. Those are the planets we made. So uh, I took a minute to figure out what creating the um, the brown dwarf star in this system did. Let me tell you, I just made this system fucked. Like, not in a bad way. So, um, it raised the heat on all these planets. All of them. Including this one all the way out here. So now, they're all at extreme heat. Uh, this is the best military level place I could possibly ask for. Like, and I'm about to add four more planets to it. All of these planets, uh, let me see. They have good ore. This one doesn't have great um, volatiles, but I can improve it. This is not too much of an issue. Um, great ore. All have extreme heat now. So, I can make this place the most military militarily capable system in existence in this sector you're prepped to okay um but so now that's, that's done um ironically uh, i just helped myself and if any of these planets come out like Terran or eccentric which is what i'm hoping for um, I can just get some stellar reflectors and not worry about it and have a perfectly, like, livable planet in this system, too. So, yeah, uh, created by accident and of sheer stupidity because I didn't realize what it was going to do and I was just kind of curious and dropped it on there. Uh, so, yeah, that's good news, good news. So I'm going to move a bunch of stuff to and from this, these two colonies, or these two systems. But yeah, I will be, um, like I said, I will record making the planets, but as far as colonization and building this goes, uh, building it up goes, I don't think I'm going to record that, to be honest. I think it'd be a waste of time. Or, not really a waste of time, but like, it doesn't make much sense to record the process of building up each of those. Because I know what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to make them all, uh, either, they're going to have mining, all of them are going to have mining, and all of them are going to have, um, refining and patrol HQs. Or, well, no... Depends. It depends on how many, um, how many of these I can get my hands on. Because if I can find more of those, I will likely not have to worry about any kind of, what the heck, um, anything, really. Uh, what else do I need? Do I need anything else? Um, yeah, take that for fuel production. I'll probably put the fuel production on the gas giant. Probably take some of those. Take those. I don't need all of them. Probably take like five. I don't need any of those. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're working with right, right now, though. Um, so, yeah. Why 
Why are we having shortages? Lost shipments. Uh, whatever. Um, I'll figure that out. But, see ya. Alright, so slight fuck up on my part. I forgot about that administrators were a thing. So now I have too many colonies under my personal control, and I have to go remove AI equals from battle stations to place in the into these three. So that's that's fun. Um yeah. But I I'm setting all these all these up now. I'll, I'm gonna rename them in a bit, but yeah. And then I'm also gonna do some bounties and exploring. I'm gonna finish exploring from here to here down here as well. So yeah, that'll be that. And I'll rec I'll be sure to record the bounties and go over loot hall loot halls once I'm done fully here, because I'll store them in a planet that has nothing else in them, in it. So it's easy, convenient, whatever. Any suggestions for what else to do, aside from like completely finishing this and then tearing through the sector and taking over everything, is, uh, which will come later, and I plan to do, I plan to do that and record that. So, yeah, but that's that.